Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Easy Property Explanations. I'm your host, Todd Sloan. This week's question has been sent in by James. James's question reads, Todd, I'm looking at buying an investment property, but not sure where to start. I'm hearing a lot of different things about negative gearing and positive gearing, and I'm just a bit confused. Can you please help? That's a great question, James, and a really common one as well. Why don't we break it down and make it a little bit easier? See, with every property investment you purchase, you're gonna have an income, which is gonna be your rent, and outgoings. Things like, let's say, your mortgage, rates, and insurance. So why don't we break this down a little bit further? Let's imagine for a second we have two different investment properties. Now, both these investment properties have an income of $300 a week because, let's say, they have tenants and they're paying $300 a week in rent. But they have different expenses. The one on the top has expenses of $350 a week, where the one on the bottom has expenses of $250 a week. Now this would mean that the one on the top is negatively geared, whilst the one on the bottom is positively geared. The reason for this is, the one on the top actually requires you to reach into your pocket and pay $50 to make up the difference, where the one on the bottom actually produces an income of $50 a week. The most common question I get after that explanation is, why would I invest in a negatively geared property if it loses money? Also a great question. Well, currently the Australian government offers tax benefits to anyone that invests in negatively geared property within Australia. Also, there's a commonly held belief among Australian investors that a negatively geared property will increase in value a lot more than a positively geared property. Lastly, positively geared properties are just really hard to find. Go on realestate.com or domain and try and find a property that has expenses lower than all of its income. They are out there, but they normally take more risky or advanced type strategies to pull those kinds of deals together. So in summary, a negatively geared property will take money out of your pocket each week, in holding costs at least, and a positively geared property will put money into your pocket each week. I hope this has answered your question, James, and if you've got any questions about buying, selling, or just want something answered with some words flying around the screen, feel free to PM me on Facebook, make sure to follow the channel down here, and also follow me on Instagram and Pinterest. Have a great day, guys.